Grandma Molly was the matriarch of our family. Every summer we'd go up to Connecticut and visit my aunts and uncles and cousins. And the highlight when we'd go to my Aunt Faye's house and there we'd have Cousins Club, a great barbecue. Grandma Molly loved to go to weddings. And after everyone, she'd say, that was the nicest wedding that I've ever been to. My mother would look at me and say, since the last wedding that she went to. It may seem like every Torah portion is the best one that I've ever read. But this week's Torah portion has lines that I come to again and again. Here are the verses from Deuteronomy. If there is a needy person among you, one of your kin in any of the settlements that the eternal your God has given you, don't harden your heart or shut your hand. Rather, open your hand and lend sufficient for whatever the person needs. Give readily and with no regrets, for there will never cease to be needy people in your land, which is why I command, Open your hand to people who are in need. Always open your hand. Sadaka is one of the cores of Jewish belief. We're commanded to give to help all people. And throughout the ages, our sages have talked about the many ways and many ideas for giving Sadaka. A couple of ones that I think are incredibly important. Everyone is obligated to give sadaka. Even a poor person who lives off a sadaka has to give some of what they receive. If a person convinces others to give, the reward is even greater than simply giving by oneself. One of my favorites from the Talmud, Rabbi Isaac said, one who gives a peruta, a small coin to a poor person, receives six blessings. One who speaks a word of cheer receives 11 blessings. It's not just the giving, but it's the compassion and being part of the community. It's wonderful to be a rabbi serving Temple Sinai. This coming week, Judaism in the 21st century will have two very, very special guests. Our theme this week is spirituality. One guest will be Rabbi Miriam Klotz. She's a program director at the Institute for Jewish Spirituality. I was in the first cohort of rabbis that trained there over 20 years ago. And she has been the director of yoga and embodied spiritual practice for 14 years. Rabbi Klotz has also been in charge of the spiritual direct direction program at Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion, the New York campus, where rabbis are trained. And our second guest will be Rabbi Barry Block, spiritual leader of the Reformed Congregation in Little Rock, Arkansas. He trained with the Musar Institute. Musar is a practice of Jewish ethics, a practice of daily living our values. And he's the editor of the new Musar Commentary for the Central Conference of American Rabbis. It's going to be a wonderful and inspiring evening. Next week, we'll be sending out our first High Holiday booklet with information about how we'll observe and celebrate the holidays this year. There'll be more to come. I hope you have a wonderful Shabbat, a Shabbat of joy, thinking of family, friends, and dear ones. A Shabbat, we pray for safety and peace for our loved ones and for our world. Shabbat Shalom.